The United States has backed Canada's claim that the death sentence awarded to Robert Selenberg is politically motivated as China continues to accuse the Canadian government of being soft on drug crime. Foreign Affairs Minister Chrystia Freeland and U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo spoke Tuesday about Selenberg's case, according to a statement from the U.S. State Department. The statement says the discussion included Freeland and Pompeo expressing their concerns about the arbitrary detentions and politically motivated sentencing of Canadian nationals. Selenberg was sentenced to death Monday, following a second trial in China for being an accessory to drug smuggling. His first trial resulted in a 15-year prison sentence. The timing and speed of the second trial have led to widespread suggestions that Selenberg was being punished as part of an escalating domestic dispute between China and Canada. Two Canadians, Michael Korvrig and Michael Spiver, have been detained in China since the December 1, 2018 arrest in Vancouver of Men Wanzhou. Wanzhou, who is the chief financial officer of tech company Huawei was arrested because of an extradition request from the US, which accuses her of violating American sanctions against Iran. Meng's case was also raised by Freeland and Pompeo, with the US State Department saying they noted their continued commitment to Canada's conduct of a fair, unbiased, and transparent legal proceeding. Freeland and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau have been attempting to garner global support for Canada, and have repeatedly noted that they have received public backing in the dispute from the United Kingdom, France, Germany and other nations. Trudeau spoke about the issue with the leaders of Argentina and New Zealand earlier this week. Our government has been energetically reaching out to our allies and explaining that the arbitrary detentions of Canadians are not just about Canada, Freeland said Wednesday, while speaking to reporters in Repentine, K. They represent a way of behaving that is a threat to all countries. Freeland said the cases of Selmberg, Korvrig and Spiver will be top of the agenda for her next week when she travels to Davos, Switzerland to attend the World Economic Forum. Canada's courting of allies does not appear to have impressed the Chinese government. Speaking to reporters Wednesday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chuning said China is not worried at all about mounting into